to a lesson on determining unknown values using the triangle angle bisector theorem. Let's start by reviewing this theorem. The triangle angle bisector theorem states that if a ray bisects an angle of a triangle, as we see here in purple, meaning this angle here is congruent to this angle here, then it divides the opposite sides into segments proportional to the lengths of the other two sides of the triangle meaning the length of BD to the length of DC will be equal to the ratio of the length of AB to the length of AC. And of course this would change based upon which angle is being bisected. Let's go and take a look at our examples. Here we want to solve for the value of X given that this ray bisects this angle of the triangle. So it divides this opposite side so that it's proportional to the other two sides of the triangle. So in order to solve for x, our proportion would be 5 is to 3 as 4x plus 1 is to 15. So now we can cross multiply. 3 times 4x plus 1 must equal 5 times 15, that's 75. Now we'll distribute and solve for x. So we'll have 12x plus 3 equals 75. Subtract 3 on both sides. 12x equals 72. Divide both sides by 12. So we have x equals 72 divided by 12. That would be 6. So if we were asked to determine the length of this side, we would substitute 6 for x, we'd have 4 times 6 plus 1, so this side of the triangle would be 25 units long. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more example. Again, we have the same situation. We have an angle bisector of this angle here, so it divides this side of the triangle so it is proportional to the other two sides of the triangle. So the ratio of 4 to 3x minus 3 must equal the ratio of 10 to 18. Now to solve for x, again we'll cross multiply, so we have 10 times 3x minus 3 equals 4 times 18, which gives us 72. Distribute the 10, so we'll have 30x minus 30 equals 72. So add 30 to both sides. Add 30 to both sides. So we have 30x equals, this is 0, 102. Divide by 30. Let's go over here and perform long division. 102 divided by 30. There are three 30s in 102. That would be 90. Subtract, that would be 12. So this gives us 3 and 12 thirtieths. And these both have a common factor of 6. There are 2 6's in 12 and 5 6's in 30. So x is equal to 3 and 2 fifths. If we want to have a decimal, that would be 3.4. And that's going to do it for this video. I hope you found these two examples helpful.